on, Mom. Act your age, would you? You're gonna make yourself sick. <laughs> I do it all for my dear sweet boys. <laughs> Mama's gotta work. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> you old bag. You know this ain't even enough to cover the interest you owe me. <laughs> summer break this year I want to go camping why camping that's boring yeah but boring is a thing now wow you you look awesome in this one too oh thanks which let me see yeah I want to see too damn you look seriously cute your cuteness is just devilish you your legs are so long Cause huh? did you see that girl the other day yeah she was totally catch you later you can't blame yeah. her though you I'll be seeing you <laughs> you and Kusui? When did they get to be friends? They don't really seem to have much in common. Yeah, you got one <laughs> girl at the top of the class, and the other one's in the shadows. They're way different. <laughs> Pretty standard. 
A lot of conditions, though. You guys are too used to this. The job of the fifth player, Kitatori, will be... Huh? What do you mean, job? We hope you get something really lame. Good job! Demo! Warrior Spear! Whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, crap! Until we meet again! Okay, so first, why don't we go to Cortinelle so we can find out what this quest is all about? Don't you think we should explain things to Keita first? Look, once we use fast travel, we're gonna have to wait 24 hours before we can use it again. So if you ask me, warping now is a better use of our time than dawdling around here with a newbie. Hey! You know, I kind of resent the way you said that. We got better things to do than worry about one person stressing out. What was that? Stop it! Keita, I'll make it short and sweet for you! Oh, okay. It's a parallel world, we're heroes, and if we don't complete the quest, we die! Got it? Wow, you... That was a pretty harsh explanation. Hmm. Okay, I don't get it, but I got it! What? Huh? Look, I'm a middle school dropout, okay? I don't really understand the tricky stuff. <laughs> so he's a middle school dropout? I don't get any of it, so I'm just gonna follow along. But first of all... Hmm? Let's do this. What a pain in the ass. So sorry, Yusuke. He says that he's not gonna fast travel until you get this over with. Use that thing of yours, you know, that stop motion thing. You two ready? Begin! Ah, on your knees, Kate! artisanal weapons. Jifon's an island, huh? So then, are you still a knight, Cavill? Not anymore. I've had to retire. <gasps> <sighs> I lost my right hand in a battle. It was 15 years ago when the Kingdom of Diok finally took action to unify the continent. Cortinel joined with other nations to form an allied army to oppose them. And a major war ensued. On that battlefield, it was a living hell. I took part in four different campaigns, but once I'd had children and was raising a family, I couldn't do it anymore. I gave up fighting. 
And now I've grown weak, I guess. Cavell and I were a lot alike. We both craved strength. It's a lot easier to destroy something than to create something, I think. Yusuke's right. If you ask me, having children and raising them well is a thousand times harder than killing. It's true. So really, you haven't grown weak at all. Just the opposite. She's been changed by experiencing war and having children. I'll never be able to reach her level. I had to raise a kid once, too. Huh? When I was about five years old, my mom had my brother and then went right back to work. So I kind of raised him all by myself. Can you believe that? Really? That's amazing! I know, right? Do you have a dad? Nope, just my mom. And then there was the time this debt collector tried to force me to kill somebody. What? Like to murder someone? Yeah, but then this guy showed up and helped me to escape. And then the debt collector got caught and our whole debt was called off. Uh, oh. Yusuke. That was payback this afternoon for hitting my brother. But I'm grateful for what you did last week. Thanks for that. I don't have the kind of words or strength that the others have. The truth is, I need to get stronger more than any of them. I love the view of the sunrise from here, and I always hope that I'd see it with you at the end. I thought... I would never see you again. Thanks so much. You were great. It was a pretty lame goodbye, but... I thought we'd see each other again soon enough. I'm sorry I got you involved in that. Besides, now I know that Bim's bird never would have died if it hadn't been for me. We were all so young back then. In all my life, I've never gone on any other journey like that one. I think that it was my memories of it that helped me get through that hell alive. You gave them to me. Thank you. Could that be true? Could it be that I was really of benefit to her? We were quite a good match, weren't we? Yeah, we were a lot alike back then. Did anyone tell you what happened while you were unconscious? That time you used too much magic? No. I see. That's a little... disappointing. <laughs> It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm Thekis. <sighs> hey there, Thekis is my name. It's the truth! Everybody run! I'll buy you some time! <sighs> now 
I finally have the opportunity to really thank you for saving our village from that troll. It's so good to see you again. How have you been, Because Are all the new encounters we have in this world? Once in a lifetime? What an honor! It's not often we have real heroes visit Jifan. Are you answering the call for mercenaries? Mercenaries? That's not why you're here? Ah, look! We're coming up on it now. Jifan Island. dancers known as bike dumb. I'm Yana. I'm all you. And we welcome y'all mercenaries to our island. I yeah, thanks, but you see... <laughs> all we did was say we're not mercenaries. And the mood just instantly tanked. Anyway, we need to figure out what those weird words in the quest mean. Excuse me, can you tell us what Vikedemania is? A harvest festival. And what is a G-Fon buffo? Wait, why we gotta tell y'all this stuff for free anyway? Yeah, right. Wow, you two are super cute. Wanna hang out? Shut up, you're complicating things. Are you mad? Why is that? What's wrong? It's because we're not mercenaries. Oh. Okay, I'll be one of those then. This right here is a G-Fon buffo. Him up. Okay, so to finish this quest... I guess we need to offer up one of these cow things at the Vikedemania Harvest Festival. We're not even going to get to have Vikedemania this year. Huh? Right there is the reason. <gasps> That's Kumomo Castle, an impregnable fortress built by our ancestors 400 years ago. Five years ago, some scary guys were shipwrecked here, and they've been occupying it ever since. Wait, look, there they are. Uh. Orcs. The big one in front is the Orc Queen. When the Orcs arrived on our island five years ago, a war broke out immediately between us. We tried, but got our butts whooped. We island folk decided to surrender to him before they wiped us all out. Turns out we had him figured all wrong. How so? It turns out that the orcs weren't just fighting our people. What they were really interested in doing was eating us. Are you saying these orcs eat people? So surrendering wouldn't... We offered them Jifon Buffo as an alternative food source. And so we became slaves of the orcs, breeding Buffo so we wouldn't get eaten ourselves. So that means now all your Buffo belong to the orcs, so you can't use them in your harvest festival. And there are more and more orcs every year, so pretty soon we're gonna run out of buffo to feed them. And then they'll start eating people again. That's why you wanted mercenaries. To kill them before they kill us. In 11 days, at this year's Bike Demonia. We want y'all to kill those orcs, starting with the Orc Queen, next time she comes to collect the buffo. So we just need to beat some orcs? <laughs> That'll be a piece of cake. Someone's cocky. We don't have anywhere near their strength. So, to compensate... So what exactly do Vikedom ritual dancers do, anyway? We do ceremonial dances when the crops are planted, and perform rituals when they're harvested. Wait, is there anyone else who performs these rituals? No one but us. So the Vikedom's safety is an added condition. Then there's a whole lot we need to do. They're gathering mercenaries, eh? Yes! Thank you for reporting this to me. So are you heroes as well? Yes. 
Professor. We decided to help, so we've all signed on to fight his mercenaries. That is very reassuring. My name is Cantil. I have already fought in many battles against the orcs. I'm Yusuke. Hey there! Nice to know you, Cantil. Man, that is so cool. I'm glad we've got someone on our side who's been there. Huh? That was excellent. Yes! An orc's weapons are the massive fists at the end of their long, powerful arms. A direct hit means sudden death. <laughs> That is why you must attack efficiently and retreat at once. Key to fighting orcs is to always stay beyond their range. So, it's hit and run tactics. Got it! You! With short blades like those, you're likely to take a fatal wound. Have you another weapon? No, I don't. These are the only two I've got. Looks like you're out of luck, Yusuke. But you don't have to worry. We warriors will take care of those orcs for you. Right? <laughs> I assumed anyone who couldn't wield a sword could use a bow, but apparently you're no good at that either. Really sorry. Actually, I'm not that eager to get in on this fight anyway. I'm gonna go raise my level! Damn it. I didn't make the team? Just wait. I'll be back before you know it! Any monsters other than orcs here? Nope, there ain't any left on the island. None? Not anymore. Our ancestors killed them all off ages ago, right? Yeah, and we're real proud of it. <sighs> Experience is usually gained by defeating monsters. But there are other ways to get it, like by using magic if you're a wizard, or cooking if you're a chef, or by performing tasks that are part of your job. Which means that... I'll try farming! Uh... Uh... Hey, you're pretty handy at that. Yeah, my grandparents were farmers. I used to help them out a lot when I was little. That's really admirable. Uh, wait! We're getting far away from the reason we asked you here! <gasps> Earthquake? And a pretty big one, too. <gasps> What's going on? Damn. All this fruit is damaged now. Oh, it happens all the time. Whenever we get a quake like that, it always knocks a bunch of them down off the trees. The fruit on this island doesn't get to grow very healthy and strong. It's because there just ain't enough nutrients in the soil. Nutrient poor? What do you use for fertilizer? Well, we've always just fertilized with buffo dung. But since there are a lot less buffo around these days, there ain't enough of that either. So feeding those orcs is having an effect on the island's agriculture too. Jifon is a volcanic island, and since its surface is covered in volcanic soil, it lacks the organic matter that nourishes plants. If there's a fertilizer we could substitute for buffo dung... Shells and seaweed? You can really use these as fertilizer? First, you break the seaweed up and mix it in with the soil. Then, you gotta wait for it to break down. We can't just spread it on the fields the way it is now? No, not raw. Mold will grow on it, and if that happens, that'll just cause even more crops to fail. Huh. If we can mix in some buffo dung later, the microbes will- Hey, just where do you think you're looking, huh? <laughs> Yana is a no! Yana's boobies are all mine, you hear me? No one else gets anywhere near them! Cut it out, will you? There's a man watching! Does that mean they do this a lot when no men are watching? You two girls are pretty close friends then, aren't you? I keep an eye on Yana to make sure no nasty pests get to her. Hey, wait. I wasn't really... Oh, he ain't even the slightest bit interested in me. Oh, Yana's not good enough for you, huh? You've got nerve. I can't win. Anyway, to be serious about it for a minute, the cardinal rule for us victim is that we have to remain virgins. If we lose our virginity, we have to quit the job. And there's no one to take our place right now. Virgins? Really? And you two are... Uh, how old are you, anyway? <laughs> when I started as a victim at age 12, I thought I'd get married at 18 or so and be able to quit this job. We missed our chance to ever get married. We can't even keep up with the stuff people our age are into. <laughs> Whoa, guess I hit a sore spot. And it's all because there are no more girls here to take our place. Don't give up hope, Yana. I'm sure that in just a few more years... Wait, are you saying it's because of the orcs that you have no successors? Yep. 
All the girls who were supposed to become victim got eaten up by the orcs a long time ago. Okay, I've got a level lot. Whatever it takes. Roasted beans with fried rice, shellfish, and root vegetables. First, I'll cook those shellfish I gathered in order to gain experience as a chef. Then I'll crush the leftover shells, add buffo dung, and... Perfect. Now it's getting nice and stinky. There are hot springs all over the volcanic island of Chifon. The hot, humid environment is perfect for micro-reproduction. Creature magic! I'll speed up the process a little by helping the microbes do their thing. Wow, that's absolutely amazing! I never would have believed anyone could make fertilizer so quickly. Well, it normally takes more time, but today is special. I needed this stuff in order for me to level up. <sighs> this is a lot of manual labor. Hey, do you have a radio or something? A radio? I like to listen to music while I work. It always makes the time go faster. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Music is our job. There's a work song that's been handed down for ages. <laughs> Come on, Aoyu, let's go get ready. Right. A work song? Like those old folk songs that farmers used to sing when they were working in the fields? Huh? We, the 100th generation of Vikedom, will now perform a little number that's been a smash hit for 800 years. We hope you like it. The Song of the Many Islands. training too? No, of course not. I am preparing us a map of the island. A map? Understanding the lay of the land is an important part of getting ready for battle. It also happens to be a hobby of mine. Uh, I'm done with this! Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't even handle this level of training, you are never going to defeat the orcs. That's what we brought you guys here for! That's why we're paying you all a lot of money! The mercenaries are the ones who should be fighting! What? Relax, Law. The man does have a point, but for us, this battle isn't about money. It's about our survival. Either we succeed in eradicating all of those orcs or we fail, in which case, we will all die. Those are the only options that we have. Well, I was against all this from the beginning anyway. It's insanity, I tell you. What are you talking about? We all agreed that we had to get rid of the orcs, didn't we? Yeah, but if it's gonna end up with all of us dead when we screw it up, we're better off just giving them our buffo like we always have. Hey, hold on. Our blood, sweat, and tears goes into These guys are starting to get on my nerves. Well, you can't really blame them, though, can you? 
Their lives are at stake, and they can't revive themselves like we can. All you care about is getting more money. Come now, that is just not true. Even we mercenaries value our lives over money. It's actually a miracle that you managed to get five of us who are crazy enough to fight a war that, to be honest, we'll probably lose. I don't care if it's heads up. Over there! Job. <laughs> An orc! I've got this. With speed like that, it's no wonder you escaped to become the last surviving remnant of your people. The last survivor? You're not leaving. <laughs>
Smith, huh? Oh, come to think of it. Jifon is the name of an island. It's highly regarded for its artisanal weapons. I guess I'll check out my skills. Can make weapons and armor. There are certain conditions, but all players can use them. Actually, under the circumstances, this is just the job I needed. Gramps, this is the mercenary who wants to be your apprentice. Please, sir, teach me how to make the sort of weapons that are good at killing orcs. <sighs> I can already see it ain't likely you're gonna master foraging in such a short amount of time. We'll try making stuff with molds. Even someone who's still trying to learn the basics can manage that. I'm ready, master. so I'm able to crank out as many as we need in no time at all. Hmm. And since Usue and Yuka aren't great at close combat, I've designed a different weapon for them to use. Say what? Thank you very much, Yusuke. Yeah, thanks a lot, Yusuke. Well, the survival of the whole team might depend on it. Hmm? Anyway, I better get back to work. <laughs> hey, so which one is your pick? Huh? Which of those three girls? Hmm. But just so you know, you is mine. You got it? Matter of fact, I put all kinds of moves on the girl while you were out of the picture. So she's basically mine already. Tough luck, Yusuke boy. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely an idiot. And since when did we become friends? So that's the ammo for this weapon? That's right. Normally, players can't use any weapons that aren't part of their own gear. We're lucky that I have acquired blacksmith skills now. So, uh, Aoi was telling me that... You've been working here every day with hardly any sleep. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. I'm doing it so I can keep everyone alive. But, Yusuke, that's what you always say. It's just a question of priorities. Huh? The value of life. Who would be more valuable to the world alive? I ask myself that, and then I make my decisions accordingly. Whew. There. It's done. I'll make sure you and you come out of this alive, no matter what it takes. I'm not so worried about Kaida and Yuka getting killed, because they can be replaced. <gasps> Eugenics, eh? That's dangerous. It's not about who they were at birth. It's based on our current needs and their future potential. That's right. But do those things not depend upon the environment they were born into? I don't deny that's true. But if I'm faced with a choice between two people who share the same faults, I will definitely rank the more powerful of the two below the other. Because if the guy at the top is shit, that's gonna affect everyone, right? Yusuke... <laughs> you do have a point there, I admit. But it's a particularly painful one for me. At one time, I was an officer. I led my army into seven battles and lost all seven of them. And my country fell. Back then, you were a general, weren't you? <laughs> well, I heard Rice say that. No matter who'd been in command, they still would have lost that battle. And that you were an excellent general. No, I was a foolishly reckless commander. I refused to retreat when I should have, and many brave men died as a result. And that is why, no matter what else happens, I cannot lose this battle. We've made all the preparations we can. I can't say our forces are optimal. But if we can strike first and take the wind out of the orc's sails, we might have a chance. We've got trouble! The... the harbor! It's under attack by the orcs! Read them and weep. Damn! That beats mine! Four years ago, my buddies and I were serving under a spoiled noble moron. 
Rice, come here, hurry. What's going on, Makahi? Look, down there. Cantil Squad. Don't they look awesome? We had hoped to join Cantil Squad, but the fact is we weren't anywhere near good enough. <clears throat> hey, one more hand, come on. Okay. And I'm gonna beat you this time. So, while we were just standing by in the reserves... I'm... Uh, I'm sorry, man. Our nation had fallen. From then on... days on the run from those who were trying to finish off our people. First, some serfs got Robin and Lana. Then bandits killed Kotame, Pittsburgh, Otan. after a fight over food. And on the 19th day... He sounds so cheerful when he tells this story. Nutrition. I was the what he soft. Must have been hell. I made it out of the... Country. How did he go from such despair to smiling in just four years? Man, you can remember the exact number of days and everything. Well, we are talking about the best memories of our lives, you know? The details are bound to stay pretty fresh. Whoa, damn, that's your best memory? That's scary. I know, right? <laughs> your new best memory will be the victory party after we beat these guys, right? I'll do my best to help. Oh, ow, hey! I'm rooting for you. Okay, you, it's your turn now. Huh? What's the best memory of my life? Wait, is it meeting me? It's me, right? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Take this! 
You saved me. I'm just honored I could be of use to you, General. Even if I can't get close to him without being killed. I told you to stop calling me General. I'm just a mercenary now, like you. Yes, sir! Great General, sir! Rice has a way of livening things up. Oh, I just don't like things being all gloomy all the time. I'm kind of a wimp. What? No wimp could have made a tricky move like that. <laughs> Someone. This man needs some attention. We were caught napping, but we can regain the initiative. The wounded will be transported to the Vikedom Cave, where they can be safely treated. All those who are still able to fight will return to their posts and stand by. Okay, so Rice and I will draw them in, and you guys be sure to aim with this alignment. Okay. Wow, it's exciting to have a weapon that's just for us. I think I'm gonna call you Orc Eater. Are you sure we're gonna be able to hit the... <sighs> Don't you worry. We'll run real slow so they're easy to target. But that's dangerous! You just make sure you get away from them and we'll make sure that our shots land. Ha! <laughs> All right, it's a deal. <sighs> Running away is one thing I'm good at. <gasps> Orcs incoming! <gasps> There are no more orcs approaching the stronghold. I guess they must have learned that it's kind of dangerous. I think I'm going to see if I can divert this last one away all by myself. You heroes have so much energy. I'm already exhausted. Please be careful. Got it. My first real one-on-one -on -one battle might not be far off. So I need to see if this thing works. I can do this! Shit! Damn, I'm stuck like this for 50 seconds? Get down! 
So did we... did we beat him? We did. Thanks to you. <laughs> this is what I get for fighting instead of running, huh? After I avoided death all this time. <sighs> I'm such a wimp. Right up until the very end. He's still trying to keep those of us left behind from feeling down. You're not weak at all, Rice. Far from it. I finally stood my ground and fought. Too late, though. You can tell your war buddies how you fought alongside the great General Cancel. I will. You can count on it. <laughs> Reporting, sir! Hmm? The walls of the stronghold have been breached. Nine villagers and Rice are dead! <gasps> Here for 
is to offer a jeef on buffo at Pike Demania. So we need to get a buffo to offer at the Harvest Festival. And to make that happen, we need to eradicate all these orcs and make absolutely sure that no harm comes to... the Vikedom. I'm gonna go check in on the Vikedom cave. What do we do with this? We're all out of bullets for the thing. Excuse me? <clears throat> the blacksmith near the eastern high ground still has his forge going. He's working on weapons. Really? You mean, the guy who taught me is still there? Wow, perfect timing! Yeah, let's go get the bullets. Alright then, we let the islanders shoot them. Or the four of us go get the bullets, and then head for the Vikedom cave. Right, got it. Five orcs left. The numbers just don't add up. Yeah. And what's more, no one has seen the Queen anywhere yet, have they? No, and that worries me. You, what do you suppose the Queen is after? Maybe... <clears throat> the ship carrying the children! Let's check it out. Orcs! <clears throat> There's two of them! <laughs> Reporting! The stronghold! It's been abandoned and the four heroes are headed this way! Right. Hey, Kotz! Thanza! Let's buy them time! Yet you don't realize your own weakness. 
you forget the debts you owe. And you hunger for battle. That is for my friend Rice. We will have our revenge. You are barbaric and cruel. <laughs> all right. If you want, I'll kill you all. <laughs>
You were wounded, so they brought you to the Vikedom Cave. You're lying on sacred ground. You'll be safe here. <laughs> Where are the uh, others? <laughs> you can't be getting up yet. All the others have gone. They returned to battle. They went to Kumamo Castle. There are probably only a few orcs left in the castle. But are we enough to take them? Okay, let's do this! Come on! Huh? Forward! Hey, wait. Come on, we're gonna beat those orcs! Forward to victory! stopped. But the thing that really worries me is... Everybody get out! Move quickly! <laughs> How you wait! No, How you stop! The ceiling's gonna... They're still wounded in here! and the tide go out. No! Well, no matter. Let us continue. Indeed. She's wrong! You have to run, Kento! It's not just a low tide! It's a sign! A sign that a tsunami's coming! It's coming. Coming. A 
again. What's coming? What do you mean? The white wall. The white wall? What is that? you're okay. Where in the castle are we anyway? I think we're on the east side, first floor. And the orcs? They're probably on the next floor up. How are you? We got trouble! <sighs> the white wall swept away all the houses and fields along the shore. Every one of them! It's our punishment. We disrespected the gods and now they're punishing us for having the nerve to think we could actually defeat the orcs on our own. Oh man, we're done for. Doesn't matter whether we beat the orcs or not, we'll never... Oh, hang on a minute. How can you say that after we've come this far? Wait, what are you doing? I can see this isn't gonna have nearly enough force in it to budge the thing. Tell me, all you. You said the Vikedom also act as the island's historians, right? You bet. That's us. We're storytellers who preserve and pass down the island's history. So then you would know if this castle has a weak spot anywhere. A weak spot? Like a flaw in its construction. A weak point where, if you hit it hard enough, it could bring this whole castle down at once. Wait, hold on. What are you saying? We'll kill all the orcs inside this castle by bringing it down on top of them. I keep thinking that there must be a way we could take advantage of this eruption for an attack. But our enemies are on the second floor, so the volcanic bombs won't reach them. And to reroute the lava flow into the castle, we need to dig trenches. As it stands right now, that won't be possible. Man, just one insane idea after another. So then... The best choice is for us to destroy the castle along with the- We can't do that! This castle is a symbol of the island! But you don't even use it anymore. Do you? You still can't destroy it! It was built 400 years ago. We've had tons of earthquakes and eruptions since then, and it's still standing! Our ancestors poured all their wisdom and ingenuity into building this castle, and they didn't build in any weak spots! I see. Well, okay then. Huh? Well, if we're going to fight them, I better find us the most advantageous position. <sighs> that guy's like a machine, isn't he? <sighs> yeah, a machine that only cares about achieving its goal. Seriously, does he even get any pleasure out of life? 
Guy's gotta be a virgin. <laughs> you see, all these smithing skills you taught me are simply just a means to an end. And they're just a way for me to achieve my goal, and truthfully, that's all I care about. Yeah, but then... How can you just keep going like that only for the sake of your goal? Even when it means you're sacrificing yourself! You just need to know what your own limits are. If you have a clear goal in view, I don't see the problem in you just taking action. The process doesn't really matter. Because it's all just for the sake of your goal. <laughs> and if you realize that you're all but powerless to actually achieve your goal anyway, you'll know that you can never afford to stand still. See? Nothing he says makes any damn sense. It really doesn't make any sense. But there's one thing I understand clearly now. Just one. We don't have time to stand still and do nothing. Since olden times on this island, it's always been said that you should never build on low ground. But even so, we started building houses along the shore because there wasn't a lot of land anywhere else. And we thought the more people, the more fields, the more wealth we had, it just meant the island was becoming more prosperous. We let our greed get the better of us and forgot all that we had been taught. So pathetic. No paradise is achieved without hard work. The island's history, its wisdom, its pride. As the island's storytellers, we Fikedom should have communicated it better. It's true. We were wrong. We ignored the legends that have been handed down for generations. And we lost our homes and our fields. But if our homes are destroyed, we just have to rebuild them sturdier this time. And if our fields are washed away, we just need to plant the next ones on higher ground. We people of Jifun have always worked hard to refine our knowledge and skills. Even if we don't have much land or resources, our ancestors overcame this island's shortcomings with their diligence and technical prowess. Rather than fight in wars to take other people's stuff, they transformed this island into a peaceful paradise through their own hard work. And little by little, as each generation learned to live better, as they took steps forward and backward, over time, the people of Jifon made progress. The people of this island. And the next time, we won't forget. We absolutely must never forget again. We, the people of Jifon, ain't gonna lose to no disasters. <laughs> It's about time. What the? Who are these people? They were suddenly just too tired. You can't blame them, really. So, what's it look like inside? Well, to begin with, the big reception hall on the second floor, where the orcs are, has a high ceiling, which gives them an advantage. So, if we're going to fight them, we'll need to lure them into the corridor, where the ceiling's lower. But, that has its pros and cons, too. On the plus side, the narrowness of the corridor will limit the orcs' movement to some extent. On the minus side, if they get us sandwiched in between them, we'll have no way out. All right, so in that case, what are we gonna do? Well, in fact, I've come up with several options we can try. Excellent! Then let's start trying them out till we find one that works. Plan A is to draw them out and push them off the balcony. <sighs> Uh, 
Damn it! That would have got him if it weren't for the ceiling! Yeah, I told you it was low. Duh. Here it comes! Out here! Come on, come and get us! Yes! yourselves in the cabin. I'm going to use you as food on my voyage. It looks like this whole island is about to sink. Which is why I must quickly go and collect my family. Whether they hate me or not, 
My hatred for humanity started with a hatred for people like me. But since he's nothing like me, he doesn't fit in that category. So even if I approved of him... Well, it looks like we're all set. Let's go kill him good and dead. Well, whatever. All that can wait. He's breathing up. His breathing's 
heavy and he's unconscious. <laughs> so glum. 
no reason. Look, the ocean's receded. But you know, there's something else that's also been bothering me. What's that? Five years ago, there was a ship that got wrecked right there. Whose ship? Hmm? Oh, a ship got wrecked. One that the Orc Queen was sailing on. Or one she was being held prisoner on. Huh? Being held a prisoner on? There was like a big cage on the deck of the ship, and it was pretty clear the Queen had been imprisoned in it. She'd been caught by somebody and put aboard that ship, but she'd broken loose somewhere along the way. By the time the ship reached the island, there was no one on board but the Queen. There were no signs of blood or a struggle, so we think the crew must have got away before she could eat them. But there was nothing on the ship that showed whose it was. And it couldn't have docked at any port in that kind of condition. What do you think it means? My guess is that they were either planning to sell the orc as a weapon or a rare beast, or else they were sending her to an enemy nation to destroy it. Ah, so maybe she was sent here specifically to destroy this island. <gasps> no, 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 that couldn't be. We have no way of knowing, so we'll put that on hold for now. Is there something else that's bothering you? Actually, for some reason, everybody's life force is being drained out of them all of a sudden. Huh? We Vikedom can see it happening because we're able to use magic a little. We can see that everyone's life is being sucked away towards the mountaintop. Uh, you're right, it is. But why that mountaintop? <gasps> it's that dragon. Okay, you just leave it to us. We'll get to the bottom of it. This island it was so small and cramped. The land was cramped. The relationships were cramped. The adults knew nothing of the outside world and refused to learn. They just lived their peaceful little lives and died. Everything around me felt so small. I felt like I was suffocating. I couldn't stand it here. A far more amazing world lay beyond the sea. A world where I could burn off my energy and pursue my full potential. So, I made a decision. I became a mercenary. That was 15 years ago. And as I hopped from one nation to the next, I realized something. In some places, people were fighting for peace in their homelands. In other places, people fought to keep their families, their friends, and their loved ones safe. Jifan was a country that never had any wars. That tiny, cramped island was the home everyone else wanted. Talk about ironic. Damn you! after abandoning it. Huh? <laughs> you look so dumb. But the sounds it makes are way cool. Huh? What are you 
doing out here? Huh? Oh, great hero. Hey, weren't you on the boat we came on? Yes, uh, my name is Raji. I was just inspecting the land when, uh... Huh? I ended up stranded out here. While you still can, you should hurry and get off the mountain. There are poisonous volcanic gases that are going to be drifting down here soon. Yes, you're right. Thank you. I'll do that. Uh, but where are you headed? Oh, we're just, uh, we're going off to do some hero stuff. Dragon is definitely the one sucking the life force out of the islanders. But why? And why would it be doing it right now? Hey, look! Is that? Hello there, dragon! Now die! <laughs> Because I surrounded him! Huh? 
So when the flow of that life force changed earlier... Somebody erased one of the magic circles. And I'm betting it was Aoyu. Then let's erase the rest of them ourselves. Huh? And how are we supposed to erase the rest of them if we don't know where they are? We just gonna follow the flow of life force and hope we stumble on them? I think I've got a better way. Is that Jifon Island? It is. I made it just after I arrived here. I'm good at making maps. Yeah, you're more than good. That's the work of a pro. We know the life force is sent to the mountaintop through the six magic circles, right? Now, if they're evenly spaced and equidistant from the mountain, and this is the location of the one that we just erased... <laughs> Excellent! Now we know the radius of the circle with the mountain at its center. <laughs> so we just divide this into six equal parts at 60 degree angles. <laughs> the differences in elevation make it a challenge, but you can't fool these eyes of mine. <laughs> oh, math making is so much more fun than fighting. Why is this guy working as a mercenary anyway? It's done. Uh-huh. Here are the locations of the remaining four. Oh. Takes care of the last one. That should remove the magic. And stop it from sucking out our life force. Two sides of the same coin. I don't want to admit it, but I'm not totally indifferent. But I do. I do hate humans. Thanks for all you did for us. The Jifon Buffo at Fight Demania. We cleared the quest. It's only because of you heroes that we're finally able to have this festival again. We thank you on behalf of all the Islanders. No need for that. Really, the only reason we did it was to fulfill our own goals. Doesn't matter. We won't forget all the things we've experienced. Everything we've learned and still need to learn. As Fightum, we'll hand it all down to the next generation. Uh... We should be going now, Aoyu. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if only things were different and you were from this world, I think I would have... I would have wanted to retire and get married to you. You would have... what? Well, that's... uh... <laughs> anyway, take care of yourself. You're 
such a virgin. First Cabell, now this one? I just don't get what the women in this world see in him. Who knows? Maybe it's because he's not so reserved here. Maybe it's because he treated them like real people. Hmm? Unlike the way he treats us. I've been adrift for more than a day. Maybe this is how it ends for me. Oh. Oh. Hey! Hmm? It's one of the mercenaries. He was once a great general, I heard. <laughs> Look at him now. you see okay fine but why'd she come to my grandpa's house to see me i've been traveling all over the world making an independent film um what's the matter so then miss uh, glenda you can call me glenn well glenn tell me have you been to the other world several times not once i've never been no really so does that mean the game master can show up before it transports people there actually I think it's probably because I already knew you guys. You did? I knew there were four people online who said they'd been to another world, and then come back again. All four? Which means... everyone but me? One American, one French, one Egyptian, and one Japanese. Huh? They'd each described a world identical to what the other three had described, down to the smallest detail. But the thing is, none of them are connected to each other in any way. So if that means the Master appeared to them, too, then it's not just the five of us? The Japanese person's username is Yukarion. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> <laughs> That's her, all right. I really like this French woman. Physically, she was just my type. Your type? Yeah. I'm only interested in women. Huh? Did she just casually come out to me? But sadly, I'm afraid she passed away. 
She had a heart attack. And before that, she left one last comment. I have cleared the fourth round. Now on to the fifth round. So she failed a quest? Is there any way to get in contact with these people? I already tried doing that by posting comments on each of their videos. That makes sense. But none of them have ever replied. I don't know if they didn't see my comments, or if they just ignored them. Or maybe they... Maybe they failed too, right? Who knows? But why don't we just start posting our own stuff online? Posting what? Like I said before. Just let me shoot some video of you. It's what I do. Wow, aren't you a couple of cuties? Uh, 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 hi. Who are you? Hi, nice I'm to meet you. My name is I'm you. My name is, um... Yo, Yusuke, what's up? Who are those two? You have a girlfriend? Which one's yours? They're not both your girlfriends, are they? Nah, nah, I'm they're just classmates. She's the real deal. Nah, they're cool. I just brought these girls in because we'll need them for the video. Wow. So you talk like a completely different person now that you're back home, huh? What are you talking about? What difference does it make? Hello there. Uh, hi. H hello there yourself. Did you get the script I emailed you? Yeah, I read it. You did a good job of reconstructing our adventures. Don't have much time or money to shoot it, but she says she'll take care of everything. Whoa. <laughs> So you're talking fancy all of a sudden. What are you, trying to impress the girls? He totally is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is killing me. Glenn's idea was this. Uh, I guess we... Well, we sort of look like a warrior and a citizen of another world. Don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure, I mean, sort of. And action! What is this? Where am I? And what is that thing? She wanted us to make a short film of some of our experiences and upload it to the internet. Game master at your surf. I will now explain the rules to... <laughs> what game? What rules? What do you mean? <laughs> but we have to present it in a way that other players would recognize instantly. Ah! Somebody help! Could you be an actual hero? A hero? Oh, wait, I get it. It must be that I'm known as a hero by the people in this world. Obviously, I'm going to have to defeat these guys or I'll never complete the quest that I was given. So this is what battle feels like. But if I'm ever to return to my own world again, I have no choice but to fight. Considering how many views this stuff gets, there's a good chance some players will be among the viewers. And cut! <laughs> wow, great job, you! It was so believable. <sighs> well, I guess we made it work. Long day. Yeah, I really appreciate you coming all the way out here. It was kind of fun, and I had nothing else to do. All right, so now let's talk about my pay. Huh? Well, you already knew I'm an amateur model. How could you not pay me? We already talked about this, remember? We're doing this for our own benefit. All right, just do one little thing for me and I'll let you off the hook. Sure, fine, whatever you want. What is it? Stop being so formal. Huh? When you're with your friends here, you don't just speak in a different way. You're different in every way. I want you to be more like that when you're around us, too. <laughs> And that concludes this business meeting. God damn it! A few days later, our short film was completed and uploaded to a video site. Then, ten days after its release. The occupation of the sixth player, Glenda Carter, is... Warrior Axe. Fourth warrior, huh? Okay, well, I've got a spear and you've got a sword. And Kasue's. What the? You're a heavy warrior now? That's an elite job. Kasue, when did that happen? 
Don't mind him. He's got this idea that he's charming. Really? Has anyone told him that he's not? We tried, but it doesn't seem to do any good. Well, no one sees themselves as others do. That's what they say. Right, Yukarion? Oh, uh, well, that's really nice, but could you please not call me that? Nothing good's going to come from insulting each other. Did I miss something? I don't even know where to start. I guess you're not much for small talk, which is probably for the best, all things considered. What's that? A goblin. Uh, not a human to be found, but those things are here. You guys just sit tight. Hey, hold on. Come on, Yusuke. How the hell did you change jobs on the way here? Huh. Look at that. Well, I've got dibs on this guy. You're an experienced hog. Know that? Knock yourself out. <laughs> of a need for us now. Guess not. You sure went down quick. Come on, goblins haven't always been that strong, have they? No, you do have a point. If this goblin had been red all over, it might make sense, yeah, but this doesn't. That's pretty common in games, though. Threat level D? What, is that a problem? I just took a good look at this guy's abilities using my chef skill. Is there something strange? There is. You see, usually, this type of run-of-the-mill goblin would have a threat level of F, the lowest rank there is. But this goblin's got a threat level of D. Never seen that before. Hmm? Someone's there. You sure? I saw him. <clears throat> no, Glenn, wait! We should all go together. <clears throat> Looks like a graveyard, and a very old one. Glenn. Where are the others? Oh, we all split up to search. Did you find anyone? No, not yet. But I think maybe. frighten her even more. I think I'll let you handle this. Huh? But I... It, it's okay. We're not going to hurt you. We'd just like to talk to you if you wouldn't mind. Great hero? <gasps> yeah, that's right. So then you know about us. You got it. We're great heroes. Exactly right. So you see, there's nothing to be scared of. My name is Jespi. Okay, so Jespi, what made you run away from us? I shouldn't have, but I thought you were from the village. Village? The village of Zagroth? Is that really where you came from? Mm-hmm. Zagroth. That's the place we're trying to get to. Do you know where that village is? You mean that mountain? That's no mountain, it's a monolith. A what? That's a volcanic formation. It's formed when magma from deep underground cools and hardens above the surface. There's a very famous one in Wyoming called the Devil's Tower. Oh yeah, I think I've heard of that. That's where you can find the village. What? We have to climb that thing? Is that even possible without some kind of winged monster to hitch a ride on? Now I see why they have such little interaction with the outside world. 
this little girl is on the outside now. Would you be able to show us if there's a way to get to that village? No, we can't make her do that. Why? She ran and hid from us because she thought we were from the village, remember? <sighs> Are they after her? I get all my water from right here. And I know where to find lots of fruit and berries in the woods. Good. Then I'll come with you. It's okay. I do this almost every day. Wait in the hut for me. I won't be long. Ah, cold. If this were in a quest, it'd really be kind of fun. Like a camping trip, you know? Hey, is something wrong? I was just thinking. It must be rough for a child like her to survive all alone. Are you someone who doesn't like children very much, Glenn? No, I like them. But when we're talking about a cute girl like her, I'd probably like her even more once she turned 18. What do you mean by that? I'm just saying she's not the right age for me yet. Uh, I'm interested in women, not girls. <gasps> you mean you're, you're a... You don't have to worry, you're safe. Even men don't go around hitting on every single woman they happen to meet, am I right? Oh, yeah, you're right, sorry about that. It's just that I've never known anyone like, uh... Well, anyway, sorry for my reaction. <gasps> you don't have to worry about it. You look kind of cute when you're blushing. <laughs> Why is my heart suddenly beating so fast? Huh? Is that you, Jespy? Whoa! That creature magic comes in pretty handy. Yeah. And it's definitely using less MP than it used to. Well, that just means that I'll be able to make all these crops grow faster. And that's a good thing, right? Stop staring and help me out. Yeah, yeah. Look at all this firewood we got. Yo, welcome back. Why are we doing all the physical labor? Well, you're a hunter now, so this is your chance to show off your skills. <gasps> what is it? Some kind of monster? Or is it... I, I don't know. Father? <laughs> is it some kind of monster? Or is it... I... I don't know. Father? What? Did, did she just say... Father? Oh no! Why did this happen to you? Don't! Yusuke! I heard about this thing from some of the players that we had contacted online. It's a parasite called a wireworm that infects a host and then controls its brain. So you mean that thing is feeding off of him? You have to destroy them. And the only way is to burn them with their host. Burn him? No! No! Let me go! The moment that thing got attached to his brain, your father was already dead. <laughs> Sorry, Jespy, but we can't risk letting our whole party get wiped out. You scared. Oh no, Glenn! Kasui, cut it off! <laughs> what the? She just fainted. What stopped you out there from bringing your sword down? I tried, but I just couldn't make myself do it. How could you be so calm about doing that? Right now, we don't have any other options. 
The monsters have all gotten stronger, and we have to get used to that before we lose someone. Like we almost lost Glenn back there. <laughs> what are you talking about, Yusuke? Kusue's right. Huh? He may have had that parasite in him, but he was still a human being. And a father. <sighs> I've lost my moral compass. Getting used to this is definitely abnormal. So, Kusue? From now on, if there's any task like that which you can't do, just say so and I'll take care of it. <laughs> I've already killed a man, after all. I'm sorry, Yusuke. Of course, I didn't realize at the time that this world was actually real. But that doesn't matter, because it tainted me anyway. But you're different. You don't want to see things like that. No, I don't. I don't, but... But if... If it's something that has to be done, no matter what, and somebody's going to do it whether I watch or not, it doesn't make me any better just because I'm not looking. Don't put it all on yourself, Kusue. I don't like dead bodies either. There was a time when I almost became depressed because of it. Did you say dead bodies? There's such a thing as the right person for the job. You're ignoring me? There are hundreds of thousands of things that have to be done in this world. Why should you force yourself to do one that you're not good at? A hidden passage? Yes. The entrance to it should be just up ahead. So what do you think made her suddenly decide to take us to her village? Probably it's what happened to her yesterday. Isn't it kind of weird that we haven't been told any details about this quest? This is it. It opened right up. It looks pretty deep. This place is creepy, all right. So, Jesby, how much farther is it to the village? I'd say about another half a day. Another half day? I wish you'd told us that earlier. Uh... And look, if we fall, we're dead. And if a strong monster shows up here, we'll be goners. <gasps> Vampire bats? I knew it! Yeah, those things are just flying mice. Just leave them to me. I'll take care of them. Okay, they're all yours. Huh? Be careful. Those guys might be stronger now, too. Huh? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Let's rest here for a minute. <laughs> Damn it, you guys. You got some experience out of it, didn't you? The journey of hope. It's what they call it when a chosen few are sent out of the village to search for a place where we can all live more safely. My father had been one of them. Why are they searching? Every year, the monsters that attack us keep getting stronger, and we're not able to harvest as much food as we used to. The village chief says we won't be able to live there much longer, so he sends out the Chosen Ones. So the monsters have definitely gotten stronger. Most often, it's the older people who have to take the journey, since they're not able to work much anymore. They're told that if they do this, they'll be helping the village. It makes no sense. That's just harsh, man. Fewer mouths to feed. I've heard the same thing happened in poor mountain villages in Japan. That was a long time ago. And that's why when some villagers call it the journey of hope, they really mean the journey of death. One day, my father and a younger man named Dan went to the village chief and tried to convince him that we shouldn't do this anymore. But the chief listed all the reasons why we had to keep doing it, and the two of them ended up being sent on the journey of hope themselves. Then, shortly after they left, my mother fell ill. So then it was just me and my little brother. We had no idea what we should do. So I left the village to try and bring our father back home. I finally stumbled upon the shack father was living in, but he said he couldn't break the rules and return to the village. Not only that, I would probably be executed too if I brought him back. But the next day, my father went back to talk to the village chief, and that was the last time I ever saw him. 
So, when you said that you thought we might be from the village... I thought that father might have been arrested, and that the villagers had been sent out to get me. But my father didn't even make it to the village. He ended up like that. And what about the other man who left the village with your father? By the time I found father, he was already gone. He'd gone off to find a place they call New Eden that was somewhere in the world. New Eden? I don't know anything about it. My father was against it, but he couldn't stop him from going. And Dan never came back again. Are you sure you want to do this? Go back to your village, I mean? Didn't you say they might execute you? I know. But my mother and brother, they need to know that father is dead. That exit's the way out to the village. But we don't want the chief's people to spot us. So I'll scout ahead. Good idea. You want me to come too? No, that's all right. I'll just take a quick look outside and come right back. Huh? Our quest was to stop the village of Zagroth from being destroyed. But it doesn't really seem like it's in any imminent danger, does it? Maybe there's some kind of hidden danger that we just don't know about yet. Well, there's no telling what might happen. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I think I'm starting to get a better picture of what it is we need to do. It's all clear. Now's our chance. We don't want Jesby getting captured and executed, so let's be careful, everyone. Okay, roger that. So this is the village of Zagroth. Looks like it only has a population of a hundred or so. Even with that few people, it wouldn't surprise me if they're barely squeaking by. Halt! Who goes there? <gasps> Wait, you're heroes. You're heroes, aren't you? What are you doing here? Hi, Frog! Huh? Jespy, it's you! <clears throat> Jespy, you're alive. Friends, I guess. They look like more than friends to me. We're neighbors. Brock and I grew up together. You just vanished without warning. What were you thinking? Well, I had to go tell father that mother was sick. Oh, how are mother and Lanan? What's wrong, Frock? Milady, we really should be heading back. It's starting to get dark now. Nuh -uh. I am going to find that flying monster today. Oh, wait! Please, Milady. Save your breath. But we. It's the same every time. She makes up some story just to drag us around. Hmm. No. I don't believe it. When? Two days ago. She just suddenly took a turn for the worse. <gasps> Mother. 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 <gasps> He's been staying at my house, but he... Wait here, I'll bring him. <sighs> Lanan? Uh, Lanan, is something wrong? You recognize me, don't you? You see what I mean? He's been like this ever since your mother died. He just won't talk to anyone. And he won't answer even if you talk to him. Lanan, it's me! Talk to me! The poor kids probably in shock from seeing his mother die. I'm gonna leave. I wanna go check out the village. Then I'll go with you. Huh? You have a problem with that? Uh, not at all. It definitely doesn't seem like an easy place to live. Why would they want to stay in a place so badly that they control the population by sending people out on the journey of hope? Well, I think I get it. When you lived long enough in a place like this, where it feels like time has stopped, after a while you can't even imagine escaping it. You think so? Hmm? Sometimes the only way to move forward is to escape. As if she knows anything about it. I'm surprised, though. By what? You came out here because it hurt you to watch Jesby, right? 
I would have thought you were too stoic to feel any sympathy. I'd say that it's closer to regret, really. Why regret? If I had gotten here just a little bit sooner, maybe I could have saved Jespi's mother with my creature magic. If you start thinking like that, there'll be no end to it. You're probably right. Someone's coming. for the warm welcome. Any problems we have around here, my grandfather can deal with them. <sighs> okay, and just who are you? My name is Iris DiRio. And don't you dare talk down to me. Forgive me, I apologize. Of course, Miss Iris. Miss? Oh, yeah, I've been called lots of things, but no one's ever called me that before. So, then is this young lady's grandfather, by any chance? Oh, yes. Her grandfather is Cox Dirio, the village chief. I see. So Dan's your older brother, huh? Yeah, and now he's missing, and Bane's dead. Damn it. The village chief. He's such a stupid old man. He thinks he's so important to the village that he can't ever leave it. But he'll come up with his own selfish reasons to make anyone who's inconvenient to him take the journey of hope, regardless of their age. Well, if it isn't the Great Heroes. I heard rumors of a band of Great Heroes who traveled to the far corners of the world saving people. But I never expected them to show up in our remote village. This is such an honor. Alas, it's a pity you wasted your time. Why is that? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just that Zagroth is the very image of peace. So there really isn't anything here for which we would require the assistance of great heroes such as yourselves. I think he'd be much better off trying somewhere else. Is he trying to get rid of us? Just a minute. Hmm? I, uh, I heard that you've been under attack from some very strong monsters. Why wouldn't you want our help protecting your village? Quiet, Yusuke. And who was it you heard this story from? Oh, crap. I don't dare tell him about Jesby. At least not until I know what he might do. It was Jesby. I saw her. She was walking and talking with them, so it had to be her. I see. Jesby, eh? I feel terrible for what I had to do to that poor girl. For the sake of the village, I separated her from her father. I never thought she'd lose her mother as well. I'm so grateful she's chosen to come back home. And as far as those monsters are concerned, you really needn't worry. You see, we have a secret plan for dealing with them. You do? Oh, yes, indeed. In fact, I would love to show it to you. It might even prove to be of some use to you in your future exploits. Ah, but perhaps I've said too much. <laughs> Great heroes. Over there. Please go right in and take a closer look. It looks like a bunch of junk to me. But it wouldn't be any benefit for us to hurt his feelings. Yeah. So what is it exactly? <gasps> what the hell? Forgive me, but it had to be done. You are a greater threat to me than any monsters. I do thank you, though, for bringing back that little scoundrel to face her punishment for breaking the laws of our village. You... What are you gonna do to Chesby? What good would it do to you to know? Neither of you will be leaving here until you're dead. How is that so? <laughs> yes, I've heard that heroes can come back to life when they die. But if I leave you in there for a year or two, I'm sure you'll just wither away. Hey, wait a minute! Chief! What is... this? Frog eggs from the pond out back. Ew. I'm sorry. We can't offer anything better. N no, really. There's no need to trouble yourself. 
Ever since Dan was sent away, we've had very little contact with any of the other people living here in the village. Our family and Jesbys are treated like outcasts. They even forced me to do guard duty outside the village. The chief's making an example of us. Oh, so then that explains why you were out there. Anyway, what's taking those two so long? Maybe something happened to them. Oh, it must be them now. Village chief? <gasps> so that's him, huh? I'm sorry to drop in so late, but you see, I was just now paid a visit by two heroes and... What the... We have even more heroes here in the village? Well, well, what a delightful surprise. Are you here for Jesby? Be careful, Frog. Relax. I've come here at the hero's request. They have asked me to forgive Jesby. Huh? Those two are more persuasive than I thought. They said they were just looking around, but really they were getting the jump on us. So, uh, do you know where they are now? Mm hmm Oh, your friends are at my mansion. We're at this very moment, they're both enjoying the very finest meal we can offer. A, A real, real meal. meal? If you would care to join them... We're in! in. Jesby. Uh -huh. It sets a poor example. If those who break the rules and leave the village without permission are not harshly punished for it. But if the heroes wish you to be forgiven, I'm sure the villagers will agree. You can tell us your story later. For tonight, you and your brother get some rest. Now then, shall we go, great heroes? Okay! Well, you, Kasue, let's get moving. Sure, okay. There's something off about this. But sitting around here won't do any good. As soon as the heroes and I have gone, cease, Chesby. Sir. I hope there are no more heroes around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. Yusuke, none of this would have ever happened if I hadn't gone and opened my big mouth. Help me, Frog! Stop! What are you doing? Frog, no! <laughs> Is that a bat on my head? Oops, sorry. Please be careful, everyone. Mister? How much farther is your mansion? It's just beyond those trees. I apologize for the long walk. Is something wrong? I apologize for this, too. <laughs> no! No! I'm slipping! What the hell are you doing? This is so much less trouble for me than having to lock you up in the dungeon with those other two. A dungeon? The part beneath you is bottomless. So once you fall, it's over. Was that a... a monster? Probably. And a big one from the sound of it. <laughs> Don't even try running away. What do you think that noise was earlier? Sounded like a monster roaring. We should report it to the village chief. Uh, are you alright, Frock? Yeah, it's nothing. I've got to save... Jespy now. Be careful. If they drive you out of the village like they did Dan... Then I'll leave it forever. <gasps> Don't you remember? Jespy said my brother went looking for a place called New Eden. Oh, Frog, you can't. When I go, you're all coming with me. You, Lonin, and Jespy. Is that the place? Yeah, that's it. But look, there's a bunch of people on your doorstep. What's going on? Don't pretend you didn't hear that monster's roar. We were all nearly frightened out of our wits. We want the village chief. I'm afraid Chief Cox is not at home right now. Hey, look! <gasps> chief Cox! My wrong or are those heroes walking with him? Heroes here? Wait, they're not just walking with him. It looks like they're holding him captive. I just did my duty as village chief by capturing Jesby. Who broke our rules? Jesby? Chief Cox? Oh, right. That little girl. Bane's daughter, Jesby. The girl who fled the village alone. These people. They showed up here with Jesby. <sighs> and when I attempted to capture her, they did this to me. Tied me up. But why would heroes do such a thing to you, Chief? 
Obviously, they were sent here by someone who wants to take Zagroth from us. Huh? Man, this guy just spews out one lie after another. Let Jasmine go! Mm -hmm. Frog? <laughs> You'd forgive her! You lied, Chief! Yes, I did. I will never permit anyone to break the rules of this village, not even a child. Now seize them both! Stay away! What are you gonna do? Pipe down, you! God! <laughs> stay down! Frog, no! Get her off of me! I said stay down! Um, wait. I don't know what brought you people here to our village, but just go now, quietly. <laughs> Frog! Huh? Mother! <laughs> Aren't you a father yourself? How could you do this to a child? Have you no shame? It's no use. But Frog! Anyone who even thinks of defying the chief or stepping out of line gets sent away on the journey of hope like my brother and Bane. We all have no choice but to bow and scrape in order to survive. What would a child know? The only reason Zagra has enjoyed peace. <laughs> this mother and her boy were sheltering Jesme. They will all bring disaster to our village. And the roar of that monster proves I'm right. Disaster? But why would they... <laughs> To them before they can destroy us all. All right, you two, come with us. Come on, it's no use resisting. Let her go. Get your hands off my mother. <laughs> Those who disturb the village's peace. Huh? <laughs> I am so gonna make you bastards pay for that. <laughs> towards humans like punching or kicking them. Shorty. My name's Iris, not Shorty. I'll call you whatever the hell I want. 
You're such an idiot! Why'd you go and throw away that key? The, the key? so I reckon that's about 40 meters that we'll need. I think we've got enough here. Can you help me tie the rest of these off? Sure. Grandpa, don't be sad. The heroes said they'd save us. If the village of Zagroth is lost, I won't. I'm sorry, Iris. And they sealed their village off from the outside to keep it safe, and then he got to rule over his own tiny closed-off world like a tyrant. What scum. Don't worry. Even if the village is lost, my grandpa's still the most important person around. He'll be the chief of nothing. <laughs> Look, here they come. Hurry up! That's it. 
those two guards. consider ourselves lucky. We escaped, but if this keeps up... Yeah. Well, we got him out. Now what do we do with all these things? They're not just things, they're people, and they play an important part of completing the quest. Hmm? Even though the monsters destroyed the village, the fact that we're still here can mean only one thing. And what's that? You don't get it? Hmm? If all these villagers had died, it would have been game over for us. You okay, Jespi? Yeah. You, Lannan? Stop! I'm too tired. No more walking. Iris, we have to keep going. For all we know, those monsters might be coming after us right now. But my feet hurt and I'm getting a blister. Plus, I'm hungry. Hey, you know what? Walking is a lot better than dying. No! You little... Why don't I carry you on my back, then? 
Kata the hero is great at piggyback rides. Yay! Giddy up, hero! Oh, wow, you're so light, Iris. A little while ago, he thought she was just something. Man, he turns on a dime. It looks like we came out of that tunnel on the opposite side of the village from where we entered it. I guess our maps aren't of any use then. Huh? What is it? Huh? Look at that trail. That's no game trail. That was made by people traveling back and forth a lot. But the merchant who led us here told us there are no towns or villages on this side. Maybe goblins made it? And if so, this is a dangerous area. Do you think we should go check it out, Yusuke? Well, we're not getting anywhere this way, aimlessly walking around. So on that note, Glenn and I will go investigate. Fine, I'll go too. Stay here, okay? No! I want Kato the hero to stay here with me! It's good that you finally found a girl who likes you. Zip it! Those monsters still might attack us here at any time. So we'll keep our reconnaissance short. Hold down the fort for us. Mm. There's actually a settlement here? A thieves' hideout? But a remote outpost like this wouldn't be the most efficient place to launch raids from. I just can't figure it out. What are you doing? They say nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right? A proverb? I'll go with look before you leap. And the place seems deserted. I guess we could use this as a base. Though it would be better if there were something to eat. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah. What? So you mean Bane wasn't your real father? Yeah. When I was orphaned as a baby, it was Bane who took me in. It was ages ago. He might as well be your real dad. Yeah. But that's why he's gone. That's why he left the village. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> My village is gone. What in the world am I going to do now? Well, what do you think? You do the best you can. You've still got your granddaughter, haven't you? Yes, you're right. place seems deserted. <laughs> are you... are you heroes? <gasps> Yusuke and Glenn sure are taking a while. I just hope they get back before the sun goes down. I wish I knew where Don went. If only my father could have told me what happened. Jespi, you don't have to worry about that. Zagroth produced fewer and fewer crops every harvest. It was getting impossible to feed everyone who lived there. We had to weed out those who couldn't work, or we all would have eventually starved to death. Wow, he actually admitted it. I'm not asking for your understanding now. This time. Ch 
change jobs, you? Just leave the rest of them to me, rookie. <laughs>
Finding New Eden was the original goal of the Journey of Hope, and only the youngest and strongest were chosen. To find New Eden? Now it's mostly an excuse to get rid of troublemakers. There's another part to the legend of New Eden. There is? I've never heard of any other. Of course not. And that's because it's an ancient secret that's been handed down only to those who inherit the title of village chief. So what is it? That it's only those who willingly choose to take death by the hand who have any hope at all of finding New Eden. The place you get to by choosing death? You mean the afterlife? And you kept this from us? Deceived us all this time? What else could I have done? It was the only way to keep our poor village going. The village chief has a sacred duty to protect Zagroth. And I bet you didn't mind that everyone in the village was so afraid they might be chosen to go on the journey that they spent their lives sucking up to you. Mm. But if New Eden has never been found, doesn't that mean the whole thing might just be a legend and nothing more? Mm. New Eden is real! <clears throat> Jespy? I'm... I'm sorry. But I just remembered something. Something my real parents said before they died. They said there's a peaceful land that lies beyond the forest, and that there are people living there. Oh, they really said that, Jespy? Well, at any rate, so long as those monsters are in Zagroth, it's obvious that none of us can go back there. We need to find a safe place somewhere where these villagers can settle permanently, or the village of Zagroth will be considered destroyed and will have failed this quest. Great heroes! Huh? With all of you here to help us, I'm convinced that we can do it. We'll find New Eden! Oh, well, um... I suppose we do need to get ourselves out of this forest in any case. Well, food is pretty scarce. And we'll have the elderly traveling with us. Who knows how long it'll take us to get out. Also, there's one major obstacle. A goblin settlement. A whole settlement of them? Yeah, and the surrounding forest there is too dense to bypass the settlement, so we'll have to go right through it. When I first saw it, I gave up and turned back. That's how I ended up finding the other villagers. How many goblins? Must be at least 30, I'd say. Yeah, that's a lot. What if it's a settlement? That might leave them open to a sneak attack. What's wrong? I just thought I'd see if I can borrow a blanket for Iris. Thank you. I thought of asking them for one, but uh, they don't like me much. Oh, I'll do it. I don't know why you'd want to be nice to people like them. <laughs> what is it? Oh, nothing. They are a whole lot quieter than they were yesterday. It's like a change came over them. Yeah, well... Oh, what was that? The roar of the monster! The one that attacked us! Oh my goodness. That roar shook them up. I don't think these people can walk much farther. Yeah, I think you're right. You're going now? Night's the best time to launch a sneak attack. It'll consist of me, Keita, and then you. And Don will be our guide. You got it. Just be careful. Leave it to us. Well, we're off. Hold down the fort here. You're leaving? Keita the hero? <laughs> nah, I'm coming right back. I'm just gonna go beat those goblins so I can change jobs, that's all. Change jobs? Yeah, so when I come back, I'll be even cooler and stronger than I am already. <laughs> you surprise me. Huh? Why is that? I never would have thought you'd be good with kids. Shh! Get down. The Goblin Settlement. So that's it. You wait here for us, Don. Be careful. Centuries. I'll erase my presence with creature magic and take them out. Then you follow me in. Mm. 
Split up and kill the rest while they're still asleep. I can't say I feel great about doing this kind of thing. Yeah, well, on to the next. Hmm, nobody home. Or maybe... Keita! Watch your back! Nice try! I thought these guys were supposed to be asleep. Were the sleepers just decoys? We have no choice but to fight them. And that's how we cleared the Jifan Island quest. You guys have been through a lot, huh? That's very informative. But even after all that, I'm still just too scared to bring myself to kill any monsters. But, you know, I remember what you said once, Glenn. Don't put it all on yourself, Kusue. I don't like dead bodies either. There was a time when I almost became depressed because of it. Did you mean... Yeah. My father used to serve as a soldier in the army. Then he was discharged after being diagnosed with PTSD. His mind was so scarred, he drowned himself in drink. Eventually, he started showing me photos of the battles he'd fought in. Photos? Of soldiers and civilians in terrible states. Day after day, he kept saying, I defended this country, protected all of you. You're obligated to be grateful to me. Oh, no. So I ran away. You did? When I told him that I liked women and that I wouldn't be giving him any grandchildren, he pointed his rifle at me, and that's when I left. <sighs> so I've been bouncing around all over the world ever since. <laughs> Is something wrong? Well, my grandpa's gone. What do you mean he's gone? <clears throat> Yuka, it's not time to switch yet. Trouble! Trouble! Big trouble! Something horrible's happening! Something really, really horrible! Oh. Huh? I was patrolling and found him like that. I tried helping him, but he was already gone. Who could have done this? A single stab to the heart. Grandpa! Grandpa! No! Iris, don't! Grandpa! Grandpa! I'm going to go check on the villagers. <laughs> the chief has been killed? And it was clearly done by human hands from the look of it. Hold on. Are you accusing one of us of doing it? Well, you all did have a grudge against him. It's hard not to suspect you, after the way you treated him. You can't be serious. You're right. We did have a grudge. Hmm? Hey, Jaka. But after being forced from our settlement, nothing is left. There's nothing but our despair. There'd be no point now in one of us stabbing the chief. us has a motive well anyway where is that goblin settlement wow it's so well maintained do you think you can live here oh yeah we'll be very comfortable hard to believe monsters used it <laughs> can't wait to wield my knife here i wish you had just stuck to chopping vegetables with that knife <clears throat> thank you this will be a good place to rest for a bit yeah but we can't stay here for long what? What is it? Nothing. Magic? Right now? Yeah, any kind. Just fire off a good blast of it. <sighs> Majiha, fire! Wind! How's that? How much MP do you want us to waste? Now check and see how much of it you used. Huh? I still have plenty of MP left. I tried it on myself. When I was fighting the goblins. I think this place is... Is just like that other one. What other one? The place where we met Jesby. I must.
must hurry. <sighs> Why am I the one who has to babysit? I have a great idea. What? When I lived in Zogroth, I saw a flying monster. That's what we need right now. If we found one, we could fly on it and we wouldn't have to walk anymore. A flying monster? Yeah. Someone was riding it. <sighs> Don't listen to her. No one ever believes Iris. She lies all the time. What did you say? Well, I believe you, Iris. Brock, really. You shouldn't bully people. Who was bullying? I wasn't bullying. <laughs> well, I got everyone and brought them here. Great, thank you. What did you want to talk to us about? I know who it was that killed your village chief. <laughs> Jaka? <sighs> the knife. I had almost forgotten that he was a cook. He would need a knife to chop things up, right? And aside from the weapons we're carrying, it's the only thing around here sharp enough to have caused that stab wound. But wait, isn't it possible that someone else took Chaka's knife and killed Cox with it? He said it himself. Huh? There'd be no point now in one of us stabbing the chief. You see, he knew that Cox had been stabbed before I said anything about how he died. Is this true, Chaka? <laughs> you! <sighs> Iris, stop! Iris, calm down! Let me go! I'll take her. She'll be all right. So, leaving aside the details for later, are you sure none of you knew anything about this? I'll toss him in that hut over there for now. It's like the old man said. What would be the point of killing him now? So, what do we do with him? Guess we'll have to just leave him. Leave him? Here? We have to stay focused and keep moving forward. We don't have time to get involved with him. Yeah, but... It's true, we're not the police, and we don't have the right to judge him. But still, there's one thing that bothers me. Is that... Iris? Huh? Isn't that where Jaka is? Whoa, wait a minute! What does she want with him? Iris! Iris, what are you... Mean. 
Their bodies? Yeah. They're all feeling weak and tired, and they don't know why. But we're feeling fine, though, right? Mm-hmm. You don't think it might be... The same symptoms we saw on Jifon Island. Right. So does that mean that Dragon Bishop is doing another ritual somewhere around here? <sighs> you all right, Keita? Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally fine. You really liked her a lot, didn't you? Yeah, well, like I said, I'm fine. <sighs> it's so unfair. Huh? Out of nowhere, we're flung into a place, get put through a bunch of awful, scary things. We all feel it. It's hard on all of us. Yusuke tries to play it cool, but I think he feels it too. It's terrible. And I don't want to die in this world. I guess. So let's all survive until the very end. After all, you've got to look out for your little brother, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. Hey, we should all go to the beach together sometime. The beach, huh? Sounds good. Once we all make it back safe, that is. <laughs> So it's coming back to you? Mm-hmm. If you go toward the rising sun, New Eden's on the other side of this forest. So you're saying that to the east? I've never gone that way. Yusuke, what do you think? If the Dragon Bishop really is involved in all this, we can't go walking in blind. <sighs> What's the matter, Great Hero? You don't believe what Jesby's telling us? Uh, no, no, I wasn't saying that. It's just risky making a decision based on a childhood memory. But still... <laughs> Goblins? Not again! <laughs> Quickly, Don! Get all the others and run for it! I got it! Kusue! Yuka, go get the kids! <laughs> okay! <laughs> right? I heard that you'd been swept away in the tsunami. Yes. 
That did happen, but soon shortly afterwards, someone saved my life. You, you're the great sorceress. You're Fatina. So she's back again, huh? Well, what do you know? I'm surprised you even know who Fatina is. Oh, yeah. She saved my life once, too, you know. I became Fatina's pupil after my rescue at sea, and I am training in sorcery now. So, uh, can we assume that Dragon Bishop is dead then? Yes. Um, what's the deal with Dragon Bishops and sorcerers? Are they like sworn enemies or something? The resurrection of the dragons. That's what the Dragon Bishops seek to achieve. Should the dragons return, humanity will be destroyed. <gasps> We exist to prevent such a cataclysm from happening. Fatina detected the unmistakable presence of another dragon bishop somewhere in this area, so she sent me here. Which means that we were right. There is a dragon bishop nearby. And to further complicate matters, a few months ago, a meteorite containing immense magic power fell to Earth near here. A meteorite? I came across a large piece of it on the other side of that rocky mountain. This meteorite has the effect of boosting all magic power. Is that why the monsters here are so much stronger? I followed the meteorite's waves and... So that's how you found us, right? A blood ritual requires the life force of humans. When I found the village that had been destroyed, I thought I'd come too late. But perhaps the power taken from it wasn't enough. And the ritual is still being performed. Hmm? What are those? Yggdramaple seeds. They grow by absorbing magic power. If we grow these seeds, then the magic power of the meteorite in this area can be sealed and neutralized. And that would take away the abnormal strength of these monsters? And our magic power along with it, probably. But to be honest, magic hasn't been helping us much in battle lately, and this could save us. Just let me unleash my creature magic on him. Hey, am I the only one who cares that you and Kasue were eaten by a troll right in front of us? No worries. All we have to do is find it and cut it open. And we know where it is. Make it grow, come on. Yeah, I'm trying to. The Kingdom of Diok? Mm hmm it seems I've heard of the Kingdom of Diok before. Isn't that the kingdom your group got tangled up with on the fourth quest? Oh, yeah. They really put us through hell. We defeated the Dragon Bishop who was hiding in the palace there. Huh? Huh? There was one in that kingdom, too? It was about three years ago. <clears throat> who are you? <laughs> I'm here at the King's command. This is the Minister's Chamber, is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> He's getting away. <gasps> a wyvern? Not a problem. It's food now. <sighs> An owl, huh? Alus Wis Ventus completes the incantation. <sighs> Selfie! <sighs> Windshield up! So what was his reason for being there in the kingdom? To set off a war, and then use the human lives consequently lost to feed the blood ritual. Mm. Wait, if the blood ritual is still being performed because the village of Zagroth wasn't enough, is there another village or town nearby? Could it be that New Eden really exists? Hey, I think it's probably grown enough. Whoa. It's like the, whatchamacallit, from Jack and the Beanstalk. <sighs> well, I did kind of push my creature magic to the limit. Hey, there's some kind of fruit on it. And that fruit can be eaten. Ah, I'll bring some along then. Never know when you'll need a snack. Well then, we have a good supply of food for now. There should be a magic circle somewhere. That's what we need to find first. I'm going to explore the area. Okay, Glenn. We'll count on you to handle the rest. I will. Just make sure you save them. You sure 
You're gonna be all right on your own? If this thing works and it weakens the monsters, I should be all right. Besides, there's something I've been wanting to find out. And what would that be? Well, I'm probably just overthinking things. Don't worry about us. I can help you guys out a little bit at least. <laughs> Look at my brother trying so hard to be cool to impress Glenda. You see him? <gasps> hey, don't worry. I'm gonna protect the both of you, Jesby, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> If Lannan dies, Brock, then I won't have anybody. I'll be all alone in the world. Lannan just took a little bump to the head. He's gonna be all right. <laughs> that troll sure didn't cover his tracks. Yeah, you won't even need the map to find him. I'm surprised at you. Hmm? I thought you'd be more like, forget those two, let's just find New Eden and clear the quest. You know, more heartless like that. There's still a horde of monsters out there. We'll need everyone we can get if we run into them. Always practical. It looks like the troll left the forest for open ground. Huh. So this is what it looks like out here. <laughs> there it is! Look at the bastard just chilling there like that! Hey, Tabalard! You better give you and Kasui back right now, or I swear I'm gonna cut him out of you! Damn it! He's such an idiot! Oh shit! When that thing jumps, the shadow forms the moment it lands! Right there! It's because of that big piece of meteorite. 
The increase in magic power is stronger than ever right around here. And be grateful I brought snacks, too! Hey, I'm starting to have fun! When does this end? We're almost there! Forget what I said! This is the opposite of fun! I don't believe it. It was all for nothing. And I had actually gotten my hopes up. Guess we go back down. <sighs> this can't be real. Yusuke, let's go. Man, if you fell from here, you'd never make it out alive. Huh? I got it. Hey, Yusuke! What are you doing? I'm gonna jump! What? Well, it's quicker. Wait, no, 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 no! You're never gonna survive a dive into that plunge pool! Well, I'm not going back there. <gasps> Take care of everybody! <laughs> Crap, it's deeper than I thought. Maybe I didn't think this through enough. Uh-huh. There's a current down here. since anyone came here. You're surprised to find a town in a place like this, aren't you? Well, yeah. So about how many people live here, would you say? 320, I think. Oh, but I forgot a baby was just born. So that would make it 321 now. There's that many? And you've all lived in this town your whole lives? Yes, it's a wonderful place to live. We've all lived here in peace for many generations. A long time ago, they say it was connected to the outside world. Matter of fact, I drifted in here from the outside world myself. Drifted in? Yes, I used to live in a small village called Zogroth before I came here. Zogroth? And this place must be New Eden. No, it doesn't have a name. It doesn't? A town with no connection to the outside world doesn't really need one. Does it? I don't know that girl! Lannan! What's wrong with you? Don't you remember your big sister? No, I don't have any big sister! Oh no. Look at me closely, Lannan. Then it was you. Huh? So you'll even take the form of a young child. I don't understand. What do you mean? Jesby. I know you're the Dragon Bishop. The dragons that descended upon this world in ancient times were brought to near extinction by a disaster that fell from the sky and reduced their numbers to only five. The impact of the disaster sent one of them flying into the heavens, where it sleeps still. That object is most likely a fragment of that dragon. A fragment that will accelerate the coming of the end of the world. Jesby. I know you're the Dragon Bishop. The Dragon Bishop? What does that even mean? Why did you set that wire worm on Iris? I don't know what you're talking about, really. Right before Iris was infected. You were the last person with her. I'll take her. She'll be all right. That's when you put it on her. Just like you did with Bane. Why would I ever do something like that? What proof do you have that I did it? When we first met... I know where to find lots of fruit and berries. I do this every day. You weren't worried about going into the deep forest all by yourself, even though it was full of monsters. I could never shake my suspicions after that. 
So what are you saying? And when we entered Zagroth. That's the way out to the village. You went ahead to the village alone, saying you wanted to take a look. That's when you cast a spell to plant memories in all the villagers, didn't you? A spell? Really? <sighs> Is something going on? Then there was the look on Don's face when he first saw you. <gasps> I missed you! I missed you so much! And you're? From his initial reaction, it was obvious that Don didn't know who you were. I suppose not. Not at first, at least. No, but then, you used magic to give Don your own memories. M magic Lonan's current state is proof of that. Since he suffered from a mental impairment, he was the only one unaffected by the spell you cast over Zogroth. I'm not sure when you planted memories in the old folks from the settlement, but I'm sure it wasn't too difficult. And the murder of Cox. You got the old men to do it for you. Isn't that right? But wait, wasn't it Jaka who killed him? In that small encampment, there's no way Jaka could have waylaid Cox without the others knowing about it. After I caught Jaka, I interrogated the old men. Just be begged us to kill the chief. My parents are dead and Lanan ended up the way he is, all because of the chief. Just having him here is so painful. I just want him to die! It's not as if we didn't all have our own grievances with the Chief, but not enough to want to kill the man. Maybe you can give people memories, but I guess you can't make them do everything that you want. But this is terrible! Why didn't you tell us before? I wasn't sure, and Iris ended up being sacrificed because of my uncertainty. This is my responsibility. Stop! No, you can't! Out of the way! Now show us what you are! <laughs> I bet you think you're brilliant, don't you? Chespy. No, just very distrustful. My life hasn't exactly been a bed of roses. Jespy! Help! I 
to get rid of the source. Yusuke! Just keep him busy! Huh? Huh? A plant that absorbs mana? Huh. What's the point of that, I wonder? have saved my life again. Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, uh... Huh? You were perpetually emitting mana because of that meteorite's power. A normal human could never have withstood that. Okay, but what about her? She's still alive? She is. What do we do? You have to ask. A whole lot of people died because of her. No! No! Don't kill her. We've been over this. She won't be the first person I've killed. If you use that as a reason to kill again, it's going to end up being who you are. <laughs> And then you can never go back! All scum's got to be put down. And in the end, me too, most likely. But until then, I'll kill those who ought to be killed. <laughs> I'm strong enough to break away, so why is it I can't? You may not understand right now, but don't... Please don't close the door on your own future! <laughs> What, you two? Don't you think it would be best if we just let the people of this world settle the affairs of this world? 
Fine. I have no intention of forgiving, though. Not her sins. Nor my own, either. Are memories the only things you can control? What's that? I mean, did you control my feelings as well? <laughs> I feel nothing for you! The only one I love is my god, the great dragon! I don't need love from anyone else! Die, humans! Die! She destroyed herself with her own magic. Thanks for answering me, at least. Goodbye, then. The meteorite! Lady Fatina! Huh? Oh, hell. I finally make it here and all the fun's over. At least I got to destroy that dangerous rock, so that's something. That's the great sorceress, Fatina? She's kind of flippant. Just how I remember her. Oh, we're going to have to go around and collect every last one of these fragments, Cantil. Uh, yes, madam. If we leave these things lying around, the dragon will be back in no time. It will come back? Look! <laughs> That the dragon could appear in our world. There is a small hole connecting the two worlds. That hole will continue to widen until eventually the dragon will be able to enter. Hey, you guys want to check out that shop by the south gate? Yeah, sure. The place has a good vibe. Hey there, Yusuke! On your way home, huh? That's the idea. So, why don't we hang out for a while now that we've bumped into each other? You're supposed to be on your way to work, aren't you? Man, even in this world he's a cold fish. Ha! You know, this is really good. Yeah, well, I practice like crazy. You and Yusuke were both pretty amazing. Yusuke too? Come to think of it, he seems different lately, doesn't he? Well, he made that promise to you, that's probably why. He's a little better, I suppose. He's still putting on that act of his, though. Oh wait, I never sent you the pictures from last time, did I? Last time? No, I guess you didn't. Sorry, Yuka. I thought I had sent them. Did you send them to Yusuke and Keita? I'll send them to everyone. The Yusuke probably won't like it. Hey! 
Some of these shots are great. Yo, part-timer! What's that? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Man, I miss how they called me great hero in the other world.